Tell me why you actually decided to break ranks with your fellow Democrats here. Um, like, what, what was the most compelling issue for you? Well, let me first say, I don't view it as breaking ranks. Um, everyone made their own decision, and I hope it's not viewed through a partisan lens. But you know, for me, my decision was based on the fact that the position is attorney general. It's not attorney and or general. And so when you have an attorney general without a law license, what you have is a general running an office, but you don't have an attorney able to practice law. So as an attorney myself and as someone who put a lot of thought and a lot of uh, careful consideration into this, um, I just felt that that was the conclusion uh, that I was compelled to reach, whether I liked it or not. And what do you think about your colleagues uh, and, and your leadership's uh, kind of contention that impeachment is the more appropriate way to remove her? I agree with that completely. Um, and I said that. I, I agree that impeachment is a more credible process. It has specific rules and procedures and burdens of proof and standards of evidence. And it's already begun. But the vote today was not a vote on which process to use. The vote today was given that the removal process has begun, should we remove her from office because she doesn't have a law license currently? And on the narrow question presented, I felt that there was only one answer. Uh, it, you know, I know I'm asking you to speculate, but why do you think that, uh, why do you think the vote failed today? If you, if you... Um, you know, I couldn't begin to, um, Yes, I'm, I'm certain that everyone on both sides took this as seriously as I did. Um, no one enjoyed it. Um, I want to believe that this was not a partisan or political exercise. Um, why it failed um, is something that could only be um, concluded after you talked to each individual member. Yeah, and the only other uh, person who kind of broke the partisan divide was Senator Greenleaf. I mean, what's it like being out on that limb with him, so to speak? <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I can only speak for how my process is. Um, I'm here trying to do the best job for, for my constituents, and um, it means casting each vote individually, not casting partisan votes for or against something. And the way it shook out this time is I happen to be, you know, the only Democrat voting with Republicans, mm -hmm. and Senator Greenleaf happened to be the only Republican voting with Democrats. Um, but I would hope that our constituents um, appreciate you know, folks who are willing to act independently and, and just try to make the best decision they can.